Hello friends, this is Abhishek Bedre coming with the third part of custom JK grid. Today we're gonna see how we can manage or uh, edit the current records. I hope you have watched my last two videos in which uh, I have explained how we can manage the custom JQ grid like uh, fetching records from SQL server or deleting records uh, using the jQueries or web methods or creating a web services okay today we're gonna edit the records and uh, save the updated records to SQL server okay yeah, yeah. yeah. and last video we have done these points like deleting the records okay after deleting the record you have to refresh the page then you can see the six number records was deleted successfully Okay. Today we're gonna edit the records, so just follow the follow my steps. Okay, here I am adding a function. okay and uh, some more attribute custom attributes so i can easily identify which is the edit button and which is update button or delete buttons okay so i am adding a i tag is equals to edit and uh, i tag is equals to delete okay so i am adding a condition if dollar control dot closest tr dot find th find input type is equals to edit dot val level is equals to edit first of all we have to check this is correct or not so I am giving an alert in browser load data and edit so uh, I think it's wrong so we didn't get any output so control closes tr Okay, we don't have to do all this stuff. Okay. Alert. True. Load data edit. Okay, it's true. Now Here I have to already write this code so we will just copy paste it okay here we are finding a th and uh, after th we are replacing the labels with the text boxes okay yeah let's check whether it's working or not properly load data edit yeah it's working perfect okay here is update buttons and delete buttons now whenever I've clicked on update 
we have to uh, send all these updated informations to the SQL server okay that's why we have to write down uh, update method function so here I have already write this method okay I, first of all I have created a student class in which we got a three properties ID first name last names and uh, I have created a object over here and uh, as normal query okay so now we have to call a ajax method so in else functions we will call the ajax functions now let's try it. Uh, if edit is this or else okay here I am passing a ID after that a first name and after that a last name okay method is calling as delete or uh, select function result should be result dot d and here is dot d okay and we have to send the records uh, remember that this record and this parameter records name should be same just run the application record is updated successfully let's check yeah Abhishek is updated okay little bit normal operations I'm adding a new column called edit and the second one is for Now it's looking good. Okay. Yeah. That's it from this playlist. Okay. For more information, you can subscribe my channels where you can got a uh, different different types of video tutorials, whether it's on iPhone, .NET, jQuery, etc. Subscribe, please subscribe my channels. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.